Thank you for listening to Entity Number B-333's Mission Log 10. This log includes threats of physical harm, imprisonment, descriptions of weapons, descriptions of violence, and strong language. Enjoy! Uh, Wait, what do you mean I'm in danger? Follow you where? Listen, you have to come with me. It's urgent. I want to understand what's going on first. At the beginning of your last mission, before the portal, did you pick up something strange? Oh, uh, right. Well, yeah, I mean, you dropped this funny little disc. Here, show it to me. I've never seen this before. This isn't mine. Wait, what? Uh, Guide, can you run a scan of this thing? Of course. Scanning. It would appear that the object you have picked up is an audio recording device. Uh, Hold on. Guide, does this look like facility technology to you? I do not recognize the device from any facility databases. That's what I was afraid of. B, I have reason to believe that someone, more likely a group of people, is interfering with the Morai project. You're in danger. We need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, Hold on, how do you know all this? Think, B. Has anything strange been happening while you've been on missions? Uh, Well... Uh, yeah, a, a couple times, but Supervisor Indigo said I shouldn't be worried about it. I'm not sure if we should be talking about it, but in this last reality, I, I think someone tried to kill me. That happened and you didn't think you were in danger? Uh, well, I did, but what was I supposed to do about it? Stuff like this keeps happening. Well, we have to do something about it now. Come on, we have to go, quickly. Dean, you never explained. Where exactly are we going? We're going to find evidence. If we don't figure this out now, you could be hurt the next time you leave for a mission. Well, if you're that worried, that does make me feel a bit validated, honestly. Maybe we should take this to... It's Indigo. Quick. If we hide in this office, they won't see us. Wait, what? But but shouldn't we tell them that... Uh, Whoa! Seriously hiding from a supervisor in your office? Uh, Dean, isn't that exactly who we should be going to about all this? Indigo is probably going to ask you to report on what happened in this last mission. If they want to talk to you, we're not going to have enough time to make a case before they take the device and send it to containment. Uh, uh, That's... true. And I I did do some not-ideal things in the last mission. I'm probably about to get reprimanded, honestly, but still, this is Supervisor Indigo's project. They would want to know if something was going on. When has Indigo ever been open about your job with you? Or answered any questions you had, honestly, without brushing it off or leaving things out? Hmm? Shit. Exactly. Sounds like they're gone. Let's go. It would appear that you two are attempting to go against the protocol of a supervisor. I am obligated to inform you that that is a level 2 offense. Oh shit, uh, wait, guide, we're not going against the protocol of a supervisor. I mean, we haven't technically broken any rules. Yet. Uh, we're just collecting evidence from the different sectors. Although I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna get it. Very well. In that case, might I suggest establishing an alibi? That's... That's a really good idea. Uh, Dean, if you're right about this, we could collect evidence to take to Supervisor Indigo. If our case is airtight, maybe they'll realize something's going on. But I don't want to seem like we're lying to the facility or breaking any rules. Oh, I know. I can just keep recording and explain what's going on. That way, the creative knows our intentions. If there's any debate about whether or not we were breaking the rules, this can be our alibi. That is a good idea, Entity Number B-3-3. Three. Thanks, guide! If that makes you feel better. Come on. Right. Where to first? The Library of Realities. That's where your mission logs are stored after Goose logs and edits them. If we can get our hands on those logs, we should be able to use them to piece together all of the strange and dangerous things that have been happening to you while out on missions. Right. I've never been to the Library of Realities before. There's even more information there than I thought. I mostly hear about the, well, realities. Uh, Guide, what else do they keep there? 
The library is not only where the records of all of the creative's realities are kept, but also the home of all record-keeping processes in the facility. This includes historical records, blueprints, paperwork, and mission logs. That makes sense! Although, I'm not allowed to access my old mission logs, am I? Don't I need to, like, put in a request or something? Shit. Yes, you do. And with a couple days' notice. You don't have time for that. The danger is urgent. Wait, you said that Goose drops off the mission logs here, right? I just hit submit for my last mission when you came into my office! I bet they're on their way now! They probably have nothing better to do. Here we are. Let's hope we beat them to it. Otherwise, we'll have to get the mission logs the old-fashioned way. Is that just code for illegally? Maybe. (laughs) Here, follow me. Whoa! You have swipe access to the Library of Realities? I I thought that was mostly off-limits for entities. Being Indigo's glorified secretary has its perks. Wow! This... This is incredible! It it really is a library! I mean, there are rows and rows of bookshelves as far as the eye can see! Wow. It doesn't just continue in front of us, but it continues up, too! The bookshelves up above look like they're floating. And above all the sections, the ceiling looks like a model of the cosmos for Reality Zero! Incredible. All the sections of books seem to be color-coded, and there are these different banners in different places. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Okay, enough gawking. We need to get to the mission logs. Come with me. Should we be worried about getting caught? Not if you stop looking like a tourist. No. The Red Sector runs the Library of Realities. They don't like sentinels coming around, and you only see them if they've been called. They'd only get called if we got ourselves into trouble or set off some sort of alarm. So, just don't touch anything, alright? Right. Right. Uh, That should be easy. Wait. This entire section is dedicated to facility patented technology? Maybe I could just... Uh, hey! What did I just say? It's just on the staircase. Just stay with me, alright? Yes, uh, right. The, the mission. Grave danger. Yes. Whoa. Uh, alright, we're walking down to the area where the different mission logs are uploaded. This room seems just as infinite as the last one. It's sort of dimly lit, and in every direction it looks like there are servers with electronic labels on them, organized by sector, entity, and project. Here, the purple sector is this way. As long as we're walking, can you go through some of the things that have been happening to you on missions that made you suspicious? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be secret information, but if we don't get this sorted out, the Moirai project could be in danger anyways. It's been sort of weird since the very beginning. I mean, even in the first reality I went to, uh, the one at Hardwood Creek, cowboys, but that's not important, one of the lifeforms there said that someone like me had come through the town before the reality corruption happened. Someone with a gauntlet. Hmm, I see. Anything else? Let's see. Uh, Oh, in Magehold, uh, a fantasy reality, the gun I was sent to retrieve had a symbol on it of this bird with its wings outstretched. A gun? Huh. Let's keep that in mind. What else? Oh, uh, this one seems important. I went to a dating simulator reality, uh, don't ask questions, please, and the reality had been corrupted specifically to fit my life. It was trying to trick me into revealing secrets not just about the Moirai project, but myself, too. And then in the next reality, in the Great Wastes, the corruption got so serious that I heard the echo of voices talking about corrupting the reality. And one of those voices sounded a lot like the guide. Yes. Entity number B-333? No, no, not you, Guide. It sounded sort of like your voice, but a a bit different. Like a different version of you. And it wasn't just in the Great Wastes, either. Last reality, when someone tried to strand me in dead space, when they were doing it, I, I think I heard the Guide again. Through the oculins designed by the facility, I am translated into different versions of myself with the same purpose. I always function as a guide, but I am specifically adapted to each individual in possession of the required technology. Shit. Well, that confirms our worst case scenario, I guess. Whoever's doing this to you is definitely connected to the facility. But who and why? That's what we're going to find out. Here, this section is labeled entity number B333. This must be the place. I just hope we can find a way to get them. It would appear that entity number G005 
is currently uploading a copy of your mission logs, entity number B333. Might I suggest interfering? Oh, perfect. Goose, hold it right there! What the f- Wait, B? Dean, I'll apprehend them! You grab the mission logs! Is this- Is this a robbery? Are you robbing me of your mission log? Quiet, you! Oh, this is such a fun idea. Thanks, guide! You are welcome. Let them go, B. We're not here for Goose. What a momentous occasion you both have finally cracked. <sighs> They're being a dick. Can we apprehend them anyways? We don't have time for this. We need the mission logs. Quick, which ones did you say we could use for evidence? Uh, uh two, four, six, seven, and eight, I think. Evidence? Evidence of what? As if I tell you about the evidence we're accruing to possibly identify a dangerous individual trying to kill me, you just try to stop us from taking the mission logs. You noticed that too? Thank gods, you were the one who was in danger. I thought by now you were just oblivious. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what have you noticed? Well, just from reading the paperwork, it seems like a life form or life forms with a facility gauntlet and access to the guide appear in the reality you're assigned to before or during your missions. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, y yes, exactly. I tried to talk to Supervisor Indigo about it, but they said it was nothing. I mean, I was terrified after Mission Log 6, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, that was the dating simulator reality. The reality wanted to know secrets about the Moirai Project. That wasn't in the written report. What exactly did they say? I don't exactly remember. Uh, can I play it back for you? Here, I'll give you that one first. In the meantime, we have to retrieve the rest of your mission logs from storage. Nice! I'll fast forward until about when it happened. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Uh, it was sometime during my conversation with Duck. <laughs> Duck? That's a stupid name. It must be about... Here! See you around, honeybee. Oh god, too soon, too soon! Hold on, what was that? I want you to open up. I corrupted this whole game just to get to know you, B. I've loved learning more about you so far. Why not share a little more? <clears throat> uh, see? Uh, just like I said. There's a lot to unpack there. Was that me? I would never say something like that. Creative, can you hear me? Trust me, I did not say that. Shit. If someone sees us taking mission logs, they might report it. We have to move fast. Wait, aren't we ready to talk to Supervisor Indigo? Are we not going to talk about that? We are not ready for that right now. We still need to collect concrete evidence. Here, I think I know where we can head next. Come with me. We'll need to be very quiet. Come on, Goose! We're sneaking! You have to walk more quietly! I can't help that I have hooves. Shush! Well, you could try! You've only lived with them, what, your whole life? Years of evolutionary potential! Wasted! They didn't evolve on concrete floors, B. Shut the fuck up! Entities B333 and D341, are you here? Shit! That sentinel chromium! Supervisor Indigo must have figured out we're up to something and notified the sentinels. Well, this just got a whole lot more dangerous. <sighs> They're between us and the exit. How are we going to sneak by without them noticing? Uh, hey, guide, you've had lots of dubiously criminal ideas today. What do you suggest? Perhaps try a distraction? Uh, yes, great idea, guide. But what? Wait, they said B333 and D341, not G005. I have clearance to be down here. It would be no issue for me to go speak with Chromium while you two find a way out of here. Uh, wait, are you sure about this? If they figure out you're with us, you could get into trouble. How could they? I'm down here uploading your mission log, remember? Quick, what do I say to them? What do Sentinels even talk about? <sighs> that, uh, that's a good question. Oh, I know! Sentinel Chromium likes my puns! What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure! They're the only one who appreciates comedy around here. Say, uh, ooh, you're looking for B? Maybe they're bumbling around down here. Get it? Kind this of. This is a horrible idea. Sentinel Chromium will get it. Just go! <clears throat> Greetings, Sentinel Chromium. Salutations, Entity G005. What are you doing down here? 
You're looking for B? Maybe they're... Uh, bumbling around down here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, that worked. They're distracted. Let's sneak around back and get out of here. Okay. We're okay. Go! Go! Uh, wait, where are we going next? You said you retrieved a gun on one of your missions, right? If we go down to containment and get a good look at it, we might be able to get more evidence about who's been tampering with reality. That's a great point! How are we going to get down, though? The only people with jurisdiction in containment are supervisors, sentinels, directors, and the orange sector. Like I said, being the go-between for Indigo and Director Lavender has its perks. You would not believe the things they have me get for them. Here! We're at the elevator! Creative, I'm gonna stop my mission log for now. It's kind of a long ride. I'll start it again when we're down in containment. So... Update? Good news! We made it down to containment! Bad news? Sentinel Chromium caught us and brought us back up. Also, they apprehended Goose. You're logging this? This is incriminating for you. Uh, no. I'm absolving myself of guilt, I'll have you know. It's a little late for that. Uh, dang. I really thought the plan was gonna go over well. It was a very good plan. Aw, thanks, guide. I mean, you did come up with a decent amount of it. Your guide has begun activating on its own accord. That is an unusual adaptation. Wait, Sentinel Chromium, how did you figure out we were down there with Goose? Entity G005 does not make good puns. Ah, <sighs> shit. He was pretty good though, right? Not now, B. We need to figure out how we're gonna make a case to Indigo without any evidence. We couldn't even find the gun down in containment anyways. That was going to be our most concrete proof. Uh, we... we can figure something out. There must be a reason it wasn't down in containment. I just can't believe your ridiculous pun is what got us caught. Hey, at least I had a plan, and it worked. And it got us all in trouble. Another one of your master plans gone awry. It reminds me of a few of the stunts you tried to pull during training. Oh, like you're any better? Don't think I forgot about how in training you- I can't believe you two are still holding a grudge from that. Could you two just give it a rest? I'm begging you. That would be best for all of you. We have arrived at Supervisor Indigo's office. I will stay stationed outside. They have been waiting for you. That doesn't sound great. Welcome, Entity B-333, D-341, and G-005. Which of you would care to explain your behavior? Uh, Supervisor Indigo, I can explain. Entity D-341 was just trying to help me. Someone had placed a recording device on them that ended up getting put on me. They were worried I was in danger, so they wanted to help out. Let me see this recording device. Here! Before my last mission log, it must have fallen off them. I picked it up so I could give it back to them later, but Dean figured out what it was. That does not paint you in the best light, D-341. It sounds as though you passed off some sort of recording device to B-333. B-333. Was it D-341's idea to avoid me? Well, uh, yes, but we were trying to collect evidence. We have reason to believe that someone is trying to interfere with the Moirai project. What sort of evidence? There is plenty of proof that the faculty has been ignoring evidence that B is in danger. We have it all assembled here on B-333's mission logs. That is a high accusation. It's true, though, isn't it? B told me all about the things they've been seeing. Goose noticed it even just from reading the paperwork. Dean is right. There have been multiple instances of a very suspicious pattern. Figures with gauntlets appearing in the realities before B, evidence of other versions of the guide being present, facility technology. This is tangible, recorded evidence. There is reason to believe someone is interfering with the Moirai project. 
It would seem you are connecting the recording device to the disturbances you have suggested have been occurring to the Morai project. Still, you have no proof to back up your accusations. Without proof, the evidence we have is most incriminating to Entity D341, who has already shown disloyalty to the facility. That's what we were trying to do until you decided to sick chromium on us. We were in containment looking for a gun that be retrieved on one of their missions. If we investigate the gun, we might be able to figure out who's been messing with them. And where is the gun? Well, it wasn't in containment. We thought it would be there because it was causing a reality corruption. Without proof, you are only making yourself look worse, D341. Well, it should have been down there. B got it on one of their mission logs. We can find the recording. Uh, wait, wait a minute. That gun... That wasn't just any gun. That was an S4V2 safeguard blaster, one of the guns higher level entities use. Of course it wouldn't be in containment, they probably took it to the blue sector, research and technology. If it's there, that's proof that it's a weapon from the facility. If we look, we might even be able to find out whose it was. But none of us have clearance. Supervisors do though. I cannot continue to be in charge of defending you, D341. Your absolution is not my responsibility. But the Moirai Project is. It's not just B that's in danger. Whoever is trying to interfere with B's work is trying to undermine your project. Director Lavender wouldn't take kindly to the project collapsing because of an issue you knew about and failed to fix. The longer you stay in the dark and the longer you keep B in the dark, the more dangerous it's going to get for everyone. There must be a reason you started this project. You have a reason for everything. I know you wouldn't just let that go. The facility has been looking into the interference that has occurred with the Morai project for some time. If it continues on like this without more information, it is very possible the project will be compromised. I believe it is time that you know what the true reason for the Morai project is. The Morai Project is a response to increasing levels of corruptions across a large number of realities, yes, but it is the nature of these instances that has the facility concerned. We believe that these corruptions are being caused by a group of people who have been working outside of the facility's knowledge for some time now. They are causing reality corruptions deliberately. Most of the realities you've been to have experienced interference from this group. I intended to assist the creative by organizing an effort to fix these corruptions. So that means that whoever's been interfering could be the ones who've been causing the reality corruptions. That must be why they asked so many questions during the dating simulator reality. They wanted to know what I was doing and how to stop me. Hold on. If the gun B found is a facility model, does that mean these people might be entities? If that is the case, we must move quickly. Come with me, all of you. Wait, where are we going? The blue sector. Didn't you say we had evidence to collect? Right. Uh, thank you, Supervisor Indigo. Let's go. Okay, we're at the Blue Sector. I've been here a couple times before and wow, it's incredible. The entire place is crawling with entities in blue experimenting with all sorts of things. I've always wanted to check out the testing area. It looks like they must be working on some sort of new and improved portal right now. Why do you always obsess over the facility's technology so much? Because it's revolutionary! The stuff they do is fascinating. I, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. The way they've completely changed portal technology without causing corruptions seems nearly scientifically impossible! And plus, they made the Oculens, which means I get to hang out with the guide! Yes, the Oculens allows us to hang. Why did you choose to apply for the purple sector again? We only do the traveling, not the experimenting. That knowledge isn't necessary for our jobs. Uh, well, uh, reality travel is my real passion. Entity Z363, will the technology retrieve from Reality 7272? Of course, Supervisor Indigo. 
Here's the technology in question. It was just pulled for recalibration yesterday, so it should be in working order. Entity Z363, what is the serial number on the gun? I'll scan that for you right now. Well, would you look at that? What a merry band of misfits we have gathered here. How lovely. Oh, uh, Director Lavender and Sentinel Chromium. Salutations. Supervisor Indigo sent Sentinel Chromium to explain a bit of the situation. Still, I wasn't expecting such a fun little reunion. All of you working together then, hmm? B333, how was your little stay in dead space? I, uh, not ideal, but, uh, manageable. Manageable. Well, I'd love to hear all about what sort of experience that was. What a unique opportunity. D341, G005, how was being on the run? Short-lived, I heard, but fun, I hope. All due respect, Director Lavender, I was required to be in the library and was uploading Entity B333's mission logs. Ah, but that wasn't the only thing you did, was it? I don't believe retrieval of a previously uploaded mission log is within your purview. Is it? Entity G005? No, Director Lavender. What an interesting development. So, Supervisor Indigo, what exactly are you and all these entities doing in the blue sector? I hope there's a thoroughly entertaining explanation for this. Uh, well, uh, thank you for coming to hear us out, Director Lavender. That's uh, very, uh, generous of you. We're investigating whose gun was in reality number 7272 at Magehold. If we figure out whose it was, it might show us who's been interfering with the Moirai project. Right. Those pesky interferences. They've certainly made your missions quite exciting, haven't they, Entity B333? I mean, that dating simulator reality was quite something. Quite an interesting listen for Supervisor Indigo and I. Th that... Th that's one way to put it. <laughs> Here you go, Supervisor Indigo. The serial number on this blaster is 20277742. It's strange, though. This blaster was supposed to have been deactivated. The owner was stripped of their privileges when they were put into containment. Uh, wait, you don't mean... It's Vale's blaster, isn't it? Um, yeah. The blaster belongs to entity number V413, if that's what you mean. Entity V413. They were put into containment, yet their blaster was found causing corruptions in another reality? Well, would you look at that! How absolutely fascinating! Your old drinking buddy, D341, what an unfortunate development for you. The very entity you tried to defend. Uh, wait, Vale did this? B but th they're not a bad person, are they? They're your friend, right? Not anymore. Not if they did this. They need to be stopped. For the good of the facility. Something seems wrong. Uh, this doesn't feel right. Could the gun really be Vale's? Uh, let me look at it. Wait... Where's the symbol? Guide, could you scan it for me to see if it matches the one we retrieved? Of course. Scanning. Are you done with this, Supervisor Indigo? Yes, Entity Z363, that will be all. We should question Entity V413 on this development. Scan interrupted. My apologies, B333. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Maybe I just didn't get a good enough look at it. Can we be sure the blaster wasn't planted? Why would someone plant Vale's blaster in particular? They're already in containment. It's not like someone could frame them. This must be them. It's the only explanation. Wow, Entity D341. You are certainly leading the charge against V413. I like your justice-minded attitude. In fact, how about this? All of you come along to watch justice be served. It's not typical protocol for traitors to the facility. But V413 isn't any typical traitor, are they? Sentinel Chromium, will you go fetch V413 for us? Shall I bring the prisoner back here? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Why don't you bring them to the White Sector? You know the room. We'll meet you there. My eyes are yours, Director Lavender. 
the white sector? Waste management? What did they have to do with questioning a prisoner? B-333, as charming as your incessant mission logging is, you've yet to figure out whispering, it seems. You'll see when we get there. We're approaching what must be the entrance to the white sector. It's a lot more nondescript than I pictured. The hallways have all become white and sterile in this area. We had to pass through four different card access points just to get here. Uh, guide, what exactly does the white sector do? The white sector is the sector in charge of waste management. Huh. Uh, I've never really looked into the white sector. What exactly does waste mean? I, I sort of figured it was like garbage or something. Waste typically refers to the features of realities that require disposing. Wait, does that include life forms? Here we are. This is the room where we'll be speaking with V413. Uh, huh, I, it sort of just looks like a featureless room. Uh, well, not quite. There's one section of the room that's been sectioned off with a glass wall. I have brought the prisoner, Director Lavender. Oh, so now you're talking, but not when I asked about a thousand questions on the way up here? What exactly is going on? Wait, Dean? Hello, Val. Welcome, Entity V413. Well, ex-Entity, I suppose. Sentinel Chromium, would you be a dear and put V413 in the chamber? Step through the door, V413. Okay. Fine. Could we please put away the glaive? I'm not even armed. Director Lavender, what is the meaning of this? I'm afraid it's not your turn to be asking questions, V413. Supervisor Indigo, the accusations involve your project. Why don't you take it away? Accusations? Could someone please explain to me what I could be accused of? I've been sitting in containment for God knows how long. Entity D341 has presented evidence against you that would implicate you in tampering with the Morai project, endangering the life of Entity B333. What? How would that even be possible? You have sentinels like this guy over here patrolling my pod 24-7. Very scary, by the way. Thank you. V413. You have been previously accused and found guilty of numerous crimes against the facility, is that correct? Well, yes, that is true. But nothing like what you're accusing me of now. This is ridiculous. Would you detail the crimes you have been accused of to this date? I was accused of sharing information from the facility with outside groups. I was also accused of abusing my position as the curator of the Library of Realities and attempting to influence and indoctrinate lower level entities. And you admitted to these accusations? Yes, I did. Still, this doesn't make any sense. I don't even know about the project you're accusing me of. I've been in containment for months. Despite the fact it was deactivated when you were placed in containment, your blaster was found in Reality 7272. Reality 7272? In Magehold? But I've never been there. You can check the records. You'll see my gauntlet and oculens only left the facility on approved missions. How could my gun have gotten there? You could have secretly passed it off to someone. Like you passed off a recording device to me. Dean, what? What are you talking about? It's the only thing that makes sense. Doesn't it seem suspicious? You're put in containment for passing off information. I see you for the first time in months, and somehow, a mysterious recording device appears on me days later. I opened your pod in containment. You could have easily slipped the recording device into my pocket. Wait, but how would Vale have known that you were involved with the Moirai project? It wouldn't matter. All that matters is getting the recording device out, and it ended up with B. Anyone tapped into the device could easily know exactly what B was doing, and could have known the moment that they went into dead space. Because of that, B almost died. If Vale could have communicated with someone else outside of containment, Vale would have also told them that their gun was deactivated, meaning that they could move it through portals without tipping off any scanners. Teen, I don't understand. Where are you getting all this from? 
Why? Quite moving, Entity D341. I think that's all I need to hear. Director Lavender, do you not think this is a little... much? We are not certain why the blaster was in reality 7272, and we have no way of knowing that Entity V413 was aware of it being used. We may be jumping to conclusions. Nonsense! An identification number is an identification number, and unfortunately for V413, that identification number was theirs. Now, V413, as you and I know, you were taken to containment under the accusation that you had been leaking confidential facility information to an unknown assailant. We have good reason to believe that this is the same group that is now interfering with the Moi Rai project. You didn't tell us then, so we threw you in containment. So, V413, if you could kindly spit it out, perhaps I'll be able to keep your life from being in too much jeopardy. Director Lavender, with all due respect, this isn't facility protocol. I know how this sort of thing works. As you kindly mentioned, this isn't my first time being accused. When an accusation this steep is brought against me, my director is supposed to get involved. You can't make a decision this sweeping without Director Scarlet. I'm not within your jurisdiction. You tout facility protocol so proudly over someone who seems to do nothing but break it. Unfortunately for you, as I mentioned before, you aren't an entity anymore. Your position is technically revoked when you are placed in sapient containment. You are as much an entity as that funny mage from Reality 7272 is. How unfortunate for you. I'm afraid that means you are in my jurisdiction. Well, regardless, your proof still isn't concrete. Anyone could have taken my gun. <laughs> Perhaps, if you could just give me some of the names of the people you've been working with, maybe I'd have a better idea of who that is. I haven't been working with anyone! My crime was sharing information. That's all I've done. I won't pretend I'm above punishment, because you're already punishing me. At this point, what could you even threaten me with? You've taken everything from me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. Sentinel Chromium? Yes, Director Lavender. Why don't you bring the chamber online? Of course, Director Lavender. Uh, oh my god! Uh, wait, inside the chamber! That looks like the frame of a portal! Astute observation, B333. This chamber is one of the most frequently used within the facility. Waste management has quite a busy role, after all. Hold on, this... this is one of those chambers... Director Lavender, please, wait. You have to hear me out. <laughs> I've tried, V413. I've been quite the avid listener. But you certainly enjoy keeping your secrets all of a sudden. Much more than you enjoyed keeping your secrets as curator of the Library of Realities. Dean, shouldn't we- Not now, B. Please, somebody. You have to listen to me. Dean, I- I don't understand where I went wrong. I told you everything I did was for the best. I wouldn't do something like this. Please, Dean, you know me. This is for the best, Vale. Director Lavender, you should give V413 at least one more chance to explain themselves. This seems extreme. Supervisor Indigo, are you trying to say you think you know better than me? Let me remind you, I made you supervisor, and I can just as easily take that away from you. Of course. It is well within your rights, Director Lavender. Wait! What are you doing to Veil? Vale? Uh, guide, what do these chambers do? The chambers within the White Sector are evacuation chambers used to dispose of waste into dead space. Hold on! You're throwing Veil vale into dead space? Uh, doesn't that seem excessive? <laughs> Don't you think it's quite appropriate? Thanks to the actions of V413, you were almost lost to the vast expanse of dead space, V333. Think of it as equivalent exchange. Hm? Listen, kid, you with the green skin. I didn't try to hurt you. I wouldn't do that. 
That's not why I was sharing information. I just wanted to uncover the truth. Please, if this is the end, just know I did what I had to do. Director Lavender, shall I? Right on time, Sentinel Chromium. Activate the chamber. No! What a unique day for all of us. D341, you surprised me. And Supervisor Indigo, you did as well. Stay here. I'll be speaking with both of you. Sentinel Chromium, would you kindly lead G005 and B333 back to the Library of Realities so they can return their mission logs? I'll have a talk with them later. Of course, Director Lavender. Come with me, you two. A unique day is one way to put it. I agree. I... I feel like I've been threatened. Yeah. Is this... Is this another one of those demonstrations, Sentinel Chromium? Director Lavender advised that I not answer your questions so openly going into the future. You two do ask a lot of questions. So I understand their request. Well, uh, you could still answer protocol-based questions, right? Is dumping entities into dead space protocol? I suppose I could. It is protocol for life forms, not entities. Either way, it's old protocol. It has not been used much for recent infractions. Still, you seemed to know what Lavender was asking of you. A good sentinel attends the best interests of their director in all situations. We have reached the Library of Realities. You two would do best to attempt to stay out of trouble going into the future, if you are capable. Right. Of course. We're, uh, super capable of that. Obviously. <clears throat> Try to... behive yourself. What? Wait, was that a pun? Uh, no, wait, 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 come back, that was really funny! Ugh, see? I told you they like puns! B, doesn't this whole thing seem a bit... strange to you? Yes. God, yes, it's strange. The facility throws life forms into dead space. Th that's, that's the scariest place a person can be. Trapped between realities with nowhere to go... Forever, pretty much, unless you have some way out. It's horrifying to think about. What bothers me personally was, even after reading all your mission logs, I have no clue how any of the patterns were traced to Vale. Not to mention that the audio recording device that was supposedly put on your person seemed to have been done so by happenstance. It, it just... it doesn't add up, right? Dean stood up for Vale so aggressively last time, then they acted all weird for a while, and and now they're so keen to accuse their old friend of something like this? I suppose that's just how it works around here. I believe Dean will be rewarded in some way for exposing Vale. From what I've noticed, the facility seems to thrive on the suspicion that other entities are somehow out to get you. Only the cutthroat survive. Well, it, uh, shouldn't matter. The facility is trying to watch over the creative's vision. I mean, that's what's most important. And... Dean was looking out for me. I should be thankful. With Dean willing to throw Veil vale to the mercy of Lavender like that, it makes me wonder who's really looking out for us. Dean was our mentor. One would think they would be here to advocate for us. Can we trust them to do that if they won't advocate for their own friend? Sure we can. They were stopping the interference with the Moirai project. And, I mean, they did it to help me. They stuck their neck out for me. That's... nice. I suppose it is. Hey, you stuck your neck out for me, too. Even if you were forced into it. So, 
Thanks. Of course. You have a tendency to get stuck in the holes you dig, so you need someone with a ladder to help you back out. As the person working behind you in the Moirai project, I'm that somebody with a ladder. I know you don't want to be, but hey, you're pretty good at it. Asshole. I'd appreciate it if you learned when to stop digging, B. It would make both of our jobs a lot easier. Uh, but hey, we keep getting out of it. What could go wrong? Don't say that. Well, Mission Log 10 is complete. That was a bit out of the ordinary for Mission Log. Sorry about that. I finally learned what the Moirai Project is actually for, and it sounds like we might have just gotten rid of one of its biggest threats. That's... good. <clears throat> Maybe things will be safer from now on. It's just... I wouldn't wish the fate of Dead Space on anyone, no matter who. Uh, but th th that doesn't matter. Uh, thank you for sticking with me, Creative. I, I hope you can see why I did what I did. Hopefully Supervisor Indigo and Director Lavender aren't too mad at me. It was a good thing Dean was looking out for me. I guess more people have my back than I thought. Uh, anyways, where should I go next? Audio tape complete. Thank you for listening to Entity Number B333's Mission Log 10. You, creative, may decide where B333 goes next. Find the poll on our Twitter at Moirai Project and Instagram at the.moirai.project. This episode was written by Jace Garner and Catherine Williamson. The guide is played by Alana Stallings. B is played by Catherine Williamson. Dean is played by Yusuf El Musalami. Goose is played by Jace Garner. Sentinel Chromium is played by Glenn Scahill. Supervisor Indigo is played by Regina Famatigan. Entity number Z363 is played by Ted Lied. Director Lavender is played by Grace Lied. Vale is played by Emma Paulini. <laughs>